Romero, he's an awesome dude, he's on your PC He likes to make reviews for the movies you see And if you want to sub his channel, take it from me He makes it all right to a big surprise and probably hates you Romero Movie News, Romero Movie News, Romero Movie News, Romero Movie News Hey there guys and gals, it's me Romero for R Mana. Today I've got to review for Creed. Listen, uh, after the match, how about if, uh, we get a Polaroid together, okay? Now when this movie was first announced, many people were a tad bit skeptical because of the fact that it was going to be a Rocky spin-off and people were like, oh come on, another Rocky movie, seriously, Sylvester, come on now. But then it was announced that the director of Fruitville Station would be doing the film and that Michael B. Jordan would actually be taking the helm as Apollo Creed's son and would actually be about him and not Rocky Balboa. And this kind of left people a little open-minded, kind of like, okay, let's see what can be delivered. And after the disappointment that was Southpaw, this year, which was another boxing movie, a lot of people were kind of hoping that Creed would be the film that would definitely prove that boxing movies can still be good. And oh boy, let me tell you, this film did not disappoint. If you have ever seen Fruitville Station, then you know the director who was going to do Creed was going to do a phenomenal job, and he definitely did. Unlike Southpaw, which really focused more on the emotional points of the movie and not really any of the boxing, Creed is able to balance both out, showing the struggle of Apollo Creed's son and also the boxing and why he boxes in the first place and you really get to see his evolution his journey from this kid who grew up on the streets and later on evolved into this man who who would become hopefully a legacy to the Creed name and then of course you got Rocky Balboa thrown in there for nostalgia and let me tell you there are a lot of nods to the original Rocky films in this movie which I actually really love if you're a Rocky fan and you've seen all the Rocky movies, even uh, even Rocky 3, then you know that you're going to love this movie, especially since Rocky Balboa is back and at the corner of Apollo Creed's son. Also, I don't think I've been a part of a crowd in a movie theater that has actually cheered in quite some time. There were people literally cheering and applauding in this movie for, for this character, for Michael B. Jordan's character, because... The last 20 minutes of this movie are just intense. I mean, you cannot get it. I mean, there's no way you cannot get into those last 20 minutes. It's just phenomenal to see. Unlike Southpaw, which really you kind of already knew what was going to happen, that, oh, he was going to win and he was going to knock this person out and whatnot, you really didn't know what was going to happen in this film when it came to the boxing. You didn't know if he was going to win, if he was going to lose, and that's what really stuck with me. And that's kind of always been what the Rocky movies are about. It's about Rocky Balboa being able to defy the odds and even if he doesn't win He was still able at the very least in his own mind win himself win in every aspect of life Though he couldn't win in the ring at least in life He can say that he beat it. and this is exactly what we get with Creed We get to see this character go through all these obstacles on his own with a little bit of help here and there But at the end it's really about him defying the odds getting out of the shadow of Apollo Creed and making his own legacy and that is a phenomenal thing to see on screen. Anyways guys I hope you enjoyed my review for Creed. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of the film. Did you like it? Did you love it? Or were you like me and said? What do you say to something like this? Anyways I've been Romero for RMN and as always I've got your back so you're on track. See you guys next time.